Unraveling Caligula, a Stoic perspective on power and corruption. Caligula's ascent to power is steeped in the Stoic perspective that authority comes with inherent responsibility and must align with nature's rational order. His rise challenges the Stoic belief that true power lies in virtue and self-control, presenting a paradoxical narrative where authority diverges from philosophical ideals. The early life of Caligula is a testament to the seeds of ambition, seen through a Stoic lens as a deviation from virtues like wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. His upbringing, marked by privilege and potential, subtly underscores a departure from Stoic moderation, setting the stage for a tumultuous reign. Upon inheriting power, Caligula's story intersects with Stoic views on fate and control. Stoicism teaches acceptance of one's fate while advocating for control over one's inner state. Caligula's embrace of absolute authority, however, reflects a misunderstanding of control, prioritizing external power over internal virtue. The initial promise of Caligula's reign offered a reflection on Stoic hope and virtue. Optimism surrounded his early days as emperor, embodying the Stoic principle that even in power, one could remain virtuous. Yet this period was fleeting, hinting at the fragile nature of hope untethered from virtue. Caligula's transformation underscores a pivotal Stoic warning, power can corrupt virtue. His descent from a ruler of promise to one of caprice illustrates the Stoic belief in the importance of self-governance. Without it, even the most promising leader can fall prey to the vices that power amplifies. In the Stoic view, Caligula's ascent to absolute power starkly illustrates the peril of losing self-control. The Stoics, who esteemed virtue above all, would argue that his reign became an antithesis to their teachings. Where they preached moderation, Caligula's actions spiraled into excess, highlighting how power can corrupt the virtues that should bind a leader to his people. The degradation of moral values in Caligula's court would be seen through a Stoic lens as a deviation from nature's rational order. Stoicism teaches the importance of living in accordance with virtue and reason, suggesting that Caligula's indulgence and moral decay not only harmed his soul, but also the very fabric of society he governed. Caligula's descent into tyranny offers a Stoic analysis on corrupted leadership. Stoics believed in the power of wisdom and virtue in governance. Caligula's rule, marked by fear and capriciousness, serves as a testament to the Stoic warning that without wisdom and moral integrity, power inevitably leads to tyranny and suffering. The extravagance of Caligula's reign starkly contrasts with Stoic simplicity. Stoics valued a life lived in accordance with nature, eschewing unnecessary luxuries. Caligula's lavish expenditures and grandiose projects underscore a departure from Stoic ideals, reflecting not only personal vice, but also a misalignment with the natural order and the well-being of the state. Caligula's tumultuous relationship with the Senate embodies the Stoic principle of enduring adversity with dignity. Stoicism teaches the value of endurance and the importance of facing challenges with a calm and rational mind. The power struggles between Caligula and the Senate reveal a lack of Stoic virtue, where neither party exhibited the restraint or wisdom to navigate their disputes for the greater good. Caligula's penchant for public spectacles and games transcended mere entertainment, embodying a profound manipulation of control. This starkly contrasts with Stoic temperance, which advocates for self-restraint and moderation. The Stoics would view such extravagance not as a sign of power, but as an indication of internal lack, a void filled with the ephemeral rather than the virtuous. The deification of Caligula represents a pivotal deviation from Stoic principles, particularly the respect for natural order. Stoicism posits that understanding one's place within the cosmos is essential for virtue. Caligula's attempt to elevate himself to godhood not only disrupts this natural order, but also signifies an extreme misalignment with the Stoic value of humility. Stoicism, with its emphasis on rationality and virtue, offers a critical lens through which to view Caligula's challenges to the gods. Such actions are not merely hubristic, they reveal a fundamental misunderstanding of power's nature and purpose. Power, from a Stoic perspective, is to be wielded with rationality and for the common good, not for personal aggrandizement. Caligula's military campaigns further illuminate the chasm between his rule and Stoic ideals. Stoicism advocates for the rational use of power, guided by wisdom and virtue. In contrast,
Caligula's campaigns, often driven by whim rather than strategic necessity, betray a lack of stoic discernment, showcasing power's misuse rather than its principled application. Stoicism offers a poignant understanding of Caligula's fear and paranoia. From a stoic viewpoint, such emotions stem from a misalignment with nature and a misunderstanding of what is within one's control. Caligula's fears, magnified by absolute power, underscore the stoic belief that external control can never assuage internal turmoil. The assassination of Caligula, steeped in a narrative of justice and retribution, invites a stoic contemplation on the nature of ethical vengeance. Stoicism, with its emphasis on rationality and virtue, questions whether such acts truly restore equilibrium or merely perpetuate the cycle of violence and power struggles. In the vacuum of power following Caligula's demise, Stoics would see a fertile ground for reflection on societal recovery and the resilience of human communities. The upheaval presents an opportunity to examine how a society can recalibrate its moral compass and realign with virtuous leadership, underscoring the Stoic belief in the potential for renewal through adversity. Comparing Caligula's rule with Stoic ideals of leadership unveils a stark contrast between tyranny and the Stoic sage. Where Caligula embodies the antithesis of Stoic virtues, indulging in excess and cruelty, a Stoic leader seeks wisdom, justice, courage and temperance, highlighting the divergence between absolute power and philosophical kingship. Caligula's legacy, when viewed through a Stoic lens, becomes a cautionary tale about the impermanence of power and the critical importance of virtue. His reign serves as a stark illustration of how fleeting authority can be when divorced from moral and ethical grounding, reinforcing Stoic views on the transient nature of worldly success. The Stoic lesson on the impermanence of power, as illustrated by Caligula's life, resonates deeply in the philosophical discourse on leadership and ethics. It reaffirms the Stoic belief that true power lies not in dominion over others, but in self-control, wisdom and adherence to natural law, a lesson seemingly unheeded by Caligula. Caligula's mental health, when viewed through the Stoic lens, becomes a profound discourse on the dominion of the mind over external circumstances. Stoicism teaches us that true power lies in our internal responses, not in the external provocations. Caligula's actions, possibly influenced by his mental state, underscore a departure from Stoic resilience, showcasing how the turbulence of the mind can overshadow the strongest of empires. The Stoic principle of freedom and choice illuminates the dark corridors of Caligula's tyranny, revealing that even in absolute power, the emperor was enslaved by his own vices. His reign serves as a testament to the Stoic belief that true liberty comes from virtue and self-control, not from the unrestrained exercise of power. In his economic policies, Caligula demonstrated an abandonment of the Stoic ideal of moderation. His lavish expenditures and financial imprudence not only strained the empire's resources, but also deviated sharply from the Stoic path of wisdom and temperance. This divergence highlights the chaos that ensues when excess supplants moderation. Caligula's pursuit of pleasure over virtue stands in stark contrast to Stoic values. His indulgences and extravagances serve as a vivid illustration of how the pursuit of sensory satisfaction can lead to moral bankruptcy. The Stoics would condemn his actions as a misalignment of priorities, emphasizing the fulfillment that comes from virtue, not pleasure. The relationship Caligula had with his subjects starkly contrasts the Stoic perspective on a leader's duty to society. His reign, marked by fear and oppression, deviates from the Stoic ideal that a ruler should embody virtue and act as a guardian of the state's morality. This discrepancy underscores a fundamental Stoic belief. The well-being of the community should always supersede the desires of the individual. The erosion of trust under Caligula's rule starkly contrasts with Stoic values of honesty and integrity. Stoicism teaches that the fabric of society is woven with threads of trust and mutual respect, elements that Caligula's reign frayed through deception and fear. This degradation of societal bonds underlines the vital role of integrity in leadership, a principle that was grotesquely absent in his rule, highlighting the Stoic belief in the fundamental importance of ethical governance. Caligula's reign serves as a Stoic lesson on the impermanence of power, illustrating that authority is but a fleeting shadow in the grand scheme of life. 
Stoics regard power as a responsibility, not a personal playground. Caligula's misuse of power and subsequent downfall exemplify the Stoic warning that those who rise through vice shall fall by it, a poignant reminder of the transient nature of earthly dominions and the enduring value of virtue. The examination of Caligula's mental health through a Stoic lens reveals a discourse on the mind's power over circumstances. Stoicism teaches the strength of rational thought and emotional resilience, qualities that Caligula conspicuously lacked. His erratic behavior underscores the Stoic belief in the importance of mental fortitude and the dangers of allowing passions to dictate actions, proposing that tranquility of mind is the truest form of power. Freedom and choice in Caligula's tyranny are starkly juxtaposed against Stoic principles, which hold autonomy in high regard. Caligula's reign illustrates the perversion of freedom when severed from wisdom and moral responsibility. Stoics argue that true freedom lies in self-control and living in accordance with nature, suggesting that Caligula's tyranny was not a display of freedom but a cage of his own making, ensnared by vice and folly. Caligula's economic policies reflect a departure from the Stoic ideal of moderation. His extravagant expenditures and financial imprudence highlight a disregard for the Stoic virtue of temperance, proving that wealth, when mismanaged, leads to societal detriment. This reinforces the Stoic view that prosperity thrives not in abundance of possessions, but in moderation and wise stewardship, pointing to the ruinous consequences of neglecting these principles. The influence of Caligula's advisors underscores a Stoic principle on the importance of the company one keeps. Stoicism teaches us that virtues are contagious, as are vices. In surrounding himself with sycophants, Caligula's rule veered further from wisdom, demonstrating how one's environment shapes one's character and decisions. Caligula's God complex starkly contrasts with Stoic humility and the understanding of one's place in the cosmos. While Stoicism advocates for living in accordance with nature and accepting our limitations, Caligula's actions reflect a dangerous disregard for these boundaries, leading to an inevitable clash with the natural order of society and governance. The Stoic perspective on tradition and societal norms offers a critical lens through which to view Caligula's disdain for established customs. For Stoics, these traditions are not merely conventions, but the embodiment of collective wisdom accumulated over generations. Caligula's rejection of these norms represents not only a personal failing, but a broader societal peril. Caligula's naval bridge project serves as a testament to excess, standing in stark opposition to Stoic virtues of purpose and moderation. This endeavor, devoid of practical utility, symbolizes the futility of pursuing glory through extravagance. It highlights a departure from Stoic teachings, which value actions that align with the common good and personal growth. The contrast between Stoic acceptance of fate and Caligula's defiance of destiny encapsulates a profound philosophical divergence. Stoicism teaches the value of embracing one's role in the world, whereas Caligula's attempts to transcend his human limitations reflect a misunderstanding of power's true nature. This defiance ultimately led to greater turmoil, underscoring the wisdom in Stoic acceptance. Caligula's handling of the Roman treasury starkly contrasts with Stoic ideals of wise resource stewardship. Stoicism teaches the virtue of moderation and the importance of using one's resources judiciously for the common good. In his extravagant spending and lavish projects, Caligula epitomized the antithesis of this principle, prioritizing personal glory over the welfare of the state. The public reaction to Caligula's rule serves as a stoic reflection on collective responsibility in the face of tyranny. Stoicism, with its emphasis on virtue and the power of reasoned action, suggests that society has a duty to resist despotic leaders. Caligula's reign, marked by fear and suppression, challenges us to consider our responsibility to uphold justice and integrity, even under the most trying circumstances. The dangers of absolute power, as demonstrated by Caligula's reign, resonate deeply with Stoic teachings. Stoicism warns against the corrupting influence of unchecked authority, advocating for self-control and the governance of one's passions. Caligula's descent into tyranny underscores the Stoic belief that power, when not tempered by wisdom and virtue, leads inevitably to ruin. The role of Stoicism in understanding Caligula's excesses is pivotal. 
Through a stoic lens, his life offers a cautionary tale about the perils of indulgence and the neglect of moral virtues. Stoicism, with its focus on personal discipline and ethical living, provides a framework for interpreting Caligula's actions and their consequences, highlighting the importance of moderation and self-restraint. In conclusion, the Stoic belief that great power should be accompanied by great responsibility, not corruption, finds a compelling illustration in the life of Caligula. His reign, characterized by excess and disregard for Stoic virtues, serves as a timeless reminder of the need for leaders to embody wisdom, justice and self-control.